Hi guys, Pete Mazaris, the Home Inspector Mentor, here to talk to you today about choosing a software reporting program. So very important, obviously, because the, uh, the, the software program that you select, not that you're married to it for life, but it is important because uh, it is your product that your customers see. It is also the um, thing that can either slow you down or speed you up in regards to your on-site inspection process, your efficiency, because these commercial programs that are available today allow you to enter data while you are performing the inspection. Of course, you guys know by now that uh, I prefer to uh, enter the data after the inspection into the device and just take pictures while I'm there with my device. But, you know, I have inspectors who were born with cell phones in their pockets that will go through a house and populate their uh, inspection report on their device, their cell phone, you know, as they go. And that gives them minimal editing uh, time at the end of the day or in between inspections to publish that particular report. So not only is your choice of software reporting programs critical for your uh, data entry and efficiency process, which of course drives, you know, referrals to you as your process is efficient. If it's not efficient, then, you know, you know, realtors tend to shun inspectors that are like that. Not that you can't have a great business, but, you know, we, we want to be the best in all categories and there's no reason not to be the best in all categories. So, so that's a great consideration is the ease of data entry. How, how difficult is it to pull up the comment that you're looking for on the device. And so typically the easiest way to do that is through a search function. And so first and foremost, that software program that is actually an app on your device and it's a program on your computer, the app must have search query capability so that if you're in the basement and you see some efflorescence on the uh, foundation wall and you want to, you know, either call that out as an action item to improve or a monitor item to keep an item eye on, you want to be able to type in efflorescence and then that program should pull up, you know, all of the comments in your template that you either purchased or created on your own, or it came embedded in the software program that you purchased. Um, you want to see, you want to be able to have all those comments come up so that you can select the one that you want and embed your pictures at the same time. And so that search query function is important for efficiency. The other thing to consider, and it, this may actually even be more important to consider is the uh, final output, how it looks. And you can get a quick primer of home inspectors reports with these different software programs uh, simply by going and searching on your, your home inspector um, metro area that you plan to do most of your business in or you would like to do most of your business in. And all the inspection companies that come up go on to their websites and look at this, their sample reports. Now, not all of them are gonna have their sample reports uh, available, but most of them will, like we do. And you can click on them and look at them, see how they look to the eyes of the customer are, are they are they detailed and have great uh, picture ability with the ability to um, you know include circles and arrows and squares and and different um, 
different things that you can annotate the pictures with. Are the pictures able to be blown up and looked at very clearly, or are they limited in size? Is the style of the report a checklist style, or is it narrative? Is it easy to navigate and understand and, and read, or does it take an hour to go through the inspection report to, to read the whole thing, which is you know not very user-friendly for the client? So you can get a good view and understanding of what your market is doing by checking out those home inspector sites that come up on the Google search and those inspectors who have posted their sample reports or links to them, which I would venture to say is most of them have because it's an important item to have available for customers who are potentially wanting to hire you from the internet, you know, you, you so, and that's why it's available. And so use that, take a look at it and you should be able to reverse engineer from that point, uh, which software that that inspector is using. A lot of times the software uh, will be on that report somewhere, okay? So ease of data entry, user-friendly reporting output with high definition picture capability and the ability to zoom into those pictures are very important as well as um, you know consideration as to what call outs come with that software report. For instance, Spectora, which is who we use, there's no call outs that come with their, their system. Uh, there's some generic reports that they have posted in their generic library I'm sorry, templates, not reports that you can use, but they're very rudimentary, you know, but they have, they have templates that people have created that are available through InterNACHI or other inspectors such as us uh, for sale, like for a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks, you can, you can download that template and then make it your own and revise it as you go. Other companies such as Palm Tech have, they come with already, you know, popular home inspector callouts in their software program and it's ready to go. And then whenever you want to add one, you know, just like Spectora's and all the other ones, you just, you know, simply uh, write up the, uh, the comment and save it to your master template. Okay. So it's, you know, pretty easy to enter. So the other thing to me that is important for the inspect the commercial inspection programs on site is the ability for two inspectors on the same inspection at the same house at the same time working on different areas of the house to be able to populate the same inspection report that the client sees and so I'm not sure that every commercial, commercially available reporting system allows that. I know that we have that ability with Spectora, but it's important for if you ever get to the point where you want to have somebody with you that you're going to start to train, it's a lot easier to have them being able to, uh, you know, populate the same inspection report that you're populating and, you know, and vice versa, so you can check their work. So to me, that's an important factor. The other thing that you have to consider is the ability, or not the ability, but the option of that software program uh, back office. And so the back office is gonna be the thing or the software program that will send out uh, your inspection agreements automatically when the inspection is scheduled into the system, either online or by you. And the, uh, the invoicing link so that uh, a client can pay when they get that e automatic email or text message, there's a link that they can pay 
pay the inspection, you know, via that link on with a credit card, as well as, um, like I mentioned before, online scheduling and follow-up emails, auto emails, asking for that Google review automatically, as well as upsell emails before the inspection saying, hey, you want to add a radon test? You want to add a sewer scope? You know, here's why that might be a big, uh, good idea. And here's a way to do that if you want us to do that. So um, that upselling, so it's a nice feature to have. The ability of that commercial software to allow for you to schedule your business and to have online scheduling available and linked into your calendar, I think is important as well. Maybe not when you're first starting because you can, you know, you're really going to do a lot of your scheduling via texting or phone calls because you're a one person show and you don't have the internet presence yet or the realtor referrals yet to drive um, clients to your website where they can go ahead and see what your pricing is and your availability and go ahead and schedule the inspection without a response from you to confirm it first, which is how I run our business. So I don't, we have set time schedules that are set or blocked off based on what's going on for that uh, inspector. And the client has the ability to go ahead and schedule us online without communicating to me. And when they enter that schedule or our online schedule, they'll see what the price is before they commit to it based on the inspections they choose. And they get to pick the inspector that they wanna work with if that inspector is available on that day and at that time and for that specific location because not all inspectors are going to be in the same location and some of them uh you know it doesn't make sense to cro travel cross town for an inspection that another inspector is closer to right and so you can set those boundaries in some of these programs and so being able to schedule online you know may not sound like yeah, something that you're too worried about right now. But as you grow and get busier, it's a very, very handy thing to have because, you know, as you're doing inspections, you're going to, you know, you're going to still want to be able to book business. And, you know, it is irritating or annoying to ha and distracting to have phone calls come in and have to, you know, take the phone call while you're up on a roof or in a cross base, which is what I did for years. But the technology today, you know, precludes the requirement to do that. And online scheduling uh, allows that. And I'm not talking about filling a form out, which then is emailed to the inspector who then, when they read the email, can decide if, uh, you know, the inspection time and date is acceptable. I'm talking about instant online scheduling once a uh, client enters it and they confirm it, boom, it's in your system, it's done. And so to me, that's an important factor to, uh, to look at. And I know some of these other programs and companies offer, you know, websites and local SEO for that website and so forth if you go for the full package which, you know, at this point when you're first starting is really not that important to get to yet. And it is later, but for now it really isn't. So um, those are my thoughts on what things I think are important for a uh, reporting uh, software. So hope that's helpful, guys.